Many people ask me, why stem cells and umbilical cord blood for autism? First of all, there's very limited therapies for autism. You have nutritional therapy, you have behavioral therapy, and you have some pharmacologic therapy. But we found out in the last few years is that almost all these kids with autism have neuroinflammation. They have inflammatory processes in their brain. And we know from other experiments that umbilical cord blood in the stem cells inside of it can turn off this neuroinflammation. So now we have a bullet that we can actually give somebody that can target neuroinflammation and start helping these brains act more normally. What is a stem cell? People don't even know what a stem cell is. A stem cell by definition has asymmetric reproduction. You know, if you look at a muscle cell and it divides, you get two muscle cells. One heart cell, you get two cardiac cells. A brain cell can become another brain cell. So when cells divide, they only become what they already are. However, a stem cell doesn't do that. A stem cell can say, oh, we need to make a muscle cell. So it divides and it makes a muscle cell, but also makes another stem cell. You know, maybe it needs a cartilage cell. It can make a cartilage cell in another stem cell. So there are certain stem cells that can make gut. There are certain stem cells that make blood vessels and heart. And that's how they're kind of divided. As you go through life, every cell has its own kind of eventual mortality. It's got a defined lifespan. So after your muscle cell has been around a few years and it starts to go away, there's a stem cell right there to make another muscle cell. So it just keeps on going until eventually you start to run out of stem cells. And unfortunately, you run out of stem cells pretty quickly. After you're through uh, your teens, you've lost about 90% of your stem cells. Mid 30s, 95%. You know, mid 50s, 98.5%, up until you're 80, and then you've lost 99.9%, .9%, which is why as you age, you lose muscle mass, you lose organ mass, uh, you get more feeble, and eventually you get into that, that cycle and, and death because you cannot keep your body functioning without stem cells.